wonderful piece. Kathy Masamitsu is with us today. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Dana. And she is going Neat to tell thing. us about someone's very special approach to cancer recovery. Oh, this this segment means so much to me, Gary and Dana. And by the way, Dana, Kansas City is so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> it is. I used to live there. It's great. gorgeous. No. It really means a lot no. to me because this week marks one year since I had been diagnosed with my recurrence of breast cancer. So it's very meaningful to me. Very meaningful to all of us. Oh, wonderful, wonderful thing. We're going we're gonna to show you a park, a cancer survivor's park that's been built in Kansas City, Missouri as a tribute and inspiration to the residents of that town who have, against the toughest odds, survived cancer. Kansas City, Missouri is full of parks with sculptures and monuments honoring everyone from World War I veterans to soldiers who died in Vietnam. Also in the center of Kansas City, this brand new park has been dedicated to the living. This is the Cancer Survivors Park. This park is a dream. It's a magnificent thing that we believe will help many people. Richard Block, one of the founders of H&R Block Tax Services, is the man behind this one-of-a-kind park. It's a very personal matter to him. When I was originally diagnosed in 1978, that's 12 years ago, I was diagnosed by a top surgeon, and he said I was terminal. My lung cancer was inoperable. I should get my estate in order. He not only fought cancer, he won. So he wanted to build a place to inspire other people. The result is this two and a half acre park. The land belongs to the city, but Block paid for the construction and maintenance. The inauguration was celebrated on June 2nd this year. There's a computer that lists the names of people who are still alive five years after they were diagnosed with cancer. So far, there are about 1,000 names, all from the Kansas City area, and more are being added all the time. It's a very easy statement to say there are five million cancer survivors alive today. Three million of them are considered cured. That's a number. And to the average human being, it's a number like our national debt or anything else. It's a meaningless number. But when you can look at a computer and pick out a specific type of cancer that applies to you, and I don't care whether it's kidney or colon or lung or breast or what it is, and you can see people who were diagnosed in 1963 and 1971 and 1984 and are alive and signed in in 1990, you will say to yourself, if they did it, maybe I can do it. This special park is also a place where survivors and their families can come and share their stories about triumph over cancer. This park very definitely tells people we don't die from cancer. We may die from lack of treatment, but we don't die from cancer. We survive and go on and on and on. It's extremely important for a patient to gain control over their condition and not to rely on the wisdom of the doctor because once a patient puts their fate in the hands of someone else, in my judgment, they're gonna die. As it represents that many people do make it and many made it uh, the five years or beyond surviving when they were told they weren't gonna be cured like I was. The focal point of the park is this life-size sculpture. It's meant to be on the ground so that people can walk up, touch it, walk through it, and feel a part of it and gain strength from it. There are plaques with inspirational messages all around the park. This is the one, my, this one I think is my favorite. Cancer is the most curable of all chronic diseases. Annette Block, who supported her husband throughout his fight against cancer, is now deeply involved in the park project death and cancer are not synonymous, that there is life with cancer, there is life after cancer, and there is a quality of life with cancer. For Richard Block, one park is hardly enough. He now has a nationwide vision. My wife and I would love to build this same park in every city in the United States and Canada, over one million population, metropolitan area. Now, what about the amount of money this costs to do? 
Money is just not an issue here. We will build it and we will pay for the perpetual maintenance of it. You know, both else. Richard Block and you and millions of other people exemplify that just again and again that attitude is is the oh, main it's so thing. Important. You know, we've been Besides talking, treatment, oh, obviously. Yeah. Well, we've been talking about the importance of early detection, especially in breast cancer with me, but also very critical is your attitude when you're facing this battle. It's a very important part of fighting cancer, and that is what's so wonderful about this park. It provides a place for people to be inspired instead of identifying with the statistics saying how hopeless it is. Mm -hmm. Instead, decide just like one of the plaques says in there, no matter what kind of cancer you have, someone has been cured of it. And wow. you should identify with that statistic instead. All right, well, part of that attitude and that encouragement uh, is in his, or in his last words about oh. wanting to build this park anywhere with a population well, of a million or over. And I know you're, you're, oh, you're trying to get oh, something started so here in Los Angeles. With, yes, I've been talking with the park district here. All right, and he's really serious about this. Very serious about it. He's absolutely dedicated to it. He said that a lot of people put money aside to do these wonderful things after they've, they're gone and their will. He says, I want to do this while I'm alive. So I want to see these parks happen now. All right. So you're saying if anyone out there is watching and they live in a, an area that has a million people or more, they can do what? They, they can write to Richard Block. We'll All give right, you let's address. give you the address. Mm -hmm. And evidently he's quite serious about this. It's Richard Block, 4410 Main Street, Kansas City, Missouri. And we're giving a P.O. Box in L.A. I'm oh. sorry, let me yeah, give you the P.O. Box. One. Richard yeah. Block, P.O. Box 29913. Los Angeles, California, 90029. And he will pay to construct he, the park and maintain that, it indefinitely. He will help you get this thing started. Absolutely. Who to contact? Whom to contact it's in your wonderful. city? It's wonderful. Wow. All right. Kathy Masamitsu, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank, thank, you. Yeah. thank you to Mr. Yeah. Block. Thank you, Thanks Mr. Block. Thank you, Mr. Block. Thank you, Mr. Block. Thank you, Mr. Block. Next, Thank you, Mr. Block. Next, today's How to Video Contest winner has a very creative idea for a baby toy. You've seen it. <laughs>